In these videos I wanted to have some fun running case studies using hypothetical graphene aluminium ion batteries by GMG. I hope you find this interesting. G'day. From the Aussie with the Google Voice. This is the Solar U channel. And I design electronic stuff. The first case study. A starter battery for an ice car. Yes, I realize that ice will go the way of the buggy whip but it makes for a very good example for the very high power density of the graphene aluminium ion battery. While the lead acid battery does provide high cranking current when new. They don't if the battery isn't fully charged. They typically only last three years. They're so heavy. They don't like the cold. They self-discharge. They don't like not being fully charged. You should only discharge 20 to 30% of their capacity. They're not that cheap. This trace was captured on an older scope and illustrates what is required of the battery. The current spike, which would not be fully captured at this time base on this scope shows it is approximately 400 amps. The average for the first 250 milliseconds, I'll say is 300 amps. It then winds up to 200 amps for 2 seconds. The actual energy consumed is only 140 milliamp hours. So, let's imagine we could obtain 6 by 10 amp hour GMG graphene aluminium ion pouch or prismatic cells. We'll consider the charge voltage first, and let's assume the alternator outputs 14 volts. Then this would work out to 2.33 volts per cell. Comfortably below the 2.4 volt maximum. But close enough to get a reasonable charge. Okay, what about the crank? We saw on the scope capture that we have that 400 amp plus initial spike. I can tell you that this can be up to 600 amps but only for less than a millisecond. We know that the GMG battery is good for 60C and it can do it for the discharge cycle. So, we can see that 60C times 10 amps. It's a 10 amp hour battery, equals 600 amps. Good, no problem there. Okay, the rest of the crank cycle is a short 200 milliseconds of 300 amps. Then 200 amps for about 2 seconds. So, this averages at just over the 20C for this battery. This shows that a mere 10 amp hour GMG graphene aluminium ion battery will easily start a nice car. Not only that, it will continue to do these crank cycles without being charged perhaps 50 times. Try that with a lead acid battery. We have seen that these cells can perform 2000 cycles at these elevated C rates. So, it is quite possible that these cells will last for the lifetime of the vehicle. Well, these GMG cells don't currently exist. But, the physical attributes such as size would not exceed those of LFP cells by much. Also, I believe that GMG cells should be cheaper than LFP cells. So, I'll use LFP cell prices, retail from China for the case study. Based on this, 6 cells will cost 40 Australian dollars, weigh 1.2 kilograms, and measure 138 by 82 by 66 millimeters. So, we can see the advantage of using such a cell in this example. Who doesn't like a cheaper, smaller, longer lasting solution? Well that's it for this case study. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and ding the bell.